The ICTL for 94 is a versatile PWM control IC, which can be applied in many different ways in electronic circuits. In this video, we discuss in detail regarding the main functions of the IC, and also how to use it in practical circuits. This IC is specifically designed for single-chip pulse width modulation application circuits. The device is mainly created for power supply control circuits, which can be efficiently dimensioned using this IC. TL494 Features Complete Pulse Width Modulation Control Circuitry On-Chip Oscillator with Master or Slave Operation On-Chip Error Amplifiers On-Chip 5V Reference Adjustable Daytime Control Uncommitted Output Transistors Rated to 500 mA source or sink. Output control for push-pull or single-ended operation. Under voltage lockout. The TL for 94 IC has eight functional blocks. One, five volts reference regulator. The five volts internal reference regulator output is the ref pin, which is pin 14 of the IC. The reference regulator is there to provide a stable supply for internal circuitry like the pulse steering. Flip flop. Oscillator. Dead time control comparator and PWM comparator. The regulator is also used to drive the error amplifiers, which are responsible for controlling the output. Note the reference is internally programmed to an initial accuracy of plus or minus 5% and maintains stability over an input voltage range of 7 volts to 40 volts. For input voltages less than 7 volts, the regulator saturates within 1 volt of the input and tracks it. Two, oscillator. The oscillator generates and provides a sawtooth wave to the dead time controller and the PWM comparators for various control signals. The frequency of the oscillator can be set by selecting timing components RT and CT. The frequency of the oscillator can be calculated by this formula. Note the oscillator frequency is equal to the output frequency only for single-ended applications. For push-pull applications, the output frequency is one-half of the oscillator frequency. 3. Dead Time Control Comparator the dead time or to simply say off time control provides the minimum dead time or off time. The output of the dead time comparator blocks switching transistors when the voltage of the input is greater than the ramp voltage of the oscillator. Applying a voltage to the DTC pin can impose additional dead time, thus providing additional dead time from its minimum of 3% to 100% as the input voltage varies from 0 to 3 volts. In simple terms, we can change the duty cycle of the output wave without tweaking the error amplifiers. Note an internal offset of 110 millivolts ensures a minimum dead time of 3% with a dead time control input grounded. For error amplifiers, Both high-gain error amplifiers receive their bias from the V1 supply rail. This permits a common mode input voltage range from negative 0.3 volts to 2 volts less than V1. Both amplifiers behave characteristically of a single-ended single supply amplifier, 
in that each output is active high only. Five output control input. The output control input determines whether the output transistors operate in parallel or push-pull mode. By connecting the output control pin, which is pin 13 to ground sets the output transistors in parallel operation mode. But by connecting this pin to the 5 volts REF pin sets the output transistors in push-pull mode. 6. Output transistors. The IC has two internal output transistors, which are in open collector and open emitter configurations, by which it can source or sink a maximum current up to 200 mA. Note the transistors have a saturation voltage of less than 1.3 volts in the common emitter configuration and less than 2.5 volts in the emitter follower configuration. These are the non-inverting and inverting inputs of the error amplifier, op amp 1. These are the non-inverting and inverting inputs of the error amplifier, op amp 2. These are the outputs 1 and 2 of the IC which connect with the collectors of the respective internal transistors. This pin needs to be connected with an external capacitor for setting the oscillator frequency. It's the input of the internal op amp which controls the dead time operation of the IC. These are the outputs of the IC which connect with emitter pins of the internal transistor. As the name suggests, this input pin is used for integrating with an output sample signal for a desired automatic control of the system. This pin is the ground pin of the IC, which needs to connect it with the zero volt of the supply source. This is the positive supply pin of the IC. This pin can be configured for enabling the output of the IC in the push-pull mode or single-ended mode. This output pin provides a constant 5 volt output, which can be used for fixing a reference voltage for the error op amps in the comparator mode. This pin needs to be connected with an external resistor for setting the oscillator frequency.